class reunion party for graduates of one of the Moscow schools. A former class leader flirts with his classmates until Ivan Krapser, a nerd nicknamed Crap, appears in the scene. By force of habit, his old buddies start needling him, but he rushes to the school building to avoid further teasing and mockery. During the party, one of his classmates asks Crap how things are going in his personal life. The embarrassed guy stutters and asks not to call him like that anymore. Ivan says he's married. His buddies are wondering who she is. Ivan says it's their classmate, but she hasn't come yet. A man suggests that Ivan had married one of the ugliest girls named Harasimets. He says he imagined her when he wanted to last longer in bed, but Ivan states that he meant another classmate. At that moment, a classy lady enters the room, capturing everyone's attention. All the guests start whispering that this is Lena Istomina herself, their former classmate who went abroad and became a world-famous supermodel. She approaches the guys and asks them to give her a seat next to her husband, Ivan. The guys are shocked by this turn of affairs. They can't believe she tied her life to the loser they had been bullying at school. All night, the men wonder what the trick is, considering it's all a farce. When Ivan goes to the bathroom, the guys start pressing Lena with questions. They say they don't believe in their prank and mock the couple. Lena says it's all for real. Then she begins to cleverly and tactfully humiliate the guys for their arrogant attitude towards Ivan. She hits every guy pointing out their shortcomings and destroying them morally. Ivan comes out of the toilet and runs into the humiliated and insulted guys awaiting him. They want to beat him up for his wife putting shame on them. At that moment, Lena appears and knocks out the offenders. She epically breaks the nose of one of them. The storyline moves two months back in time. Ivan talks to the robot's head, explaining what she needs to do. He wants her to go to a class reunion party with him to put all the offenders in place. After all, to this day, they continue humiliating him on social networks. And she looks just like his classmate, Lena Istomina, who doesn't care about them because she lives in a foreign country and has a career in show business. She says she's more like a dream of an oral sex fan rather than a living person. Ivan is surprised at her harsh humor. The robot claims that her artificial intelligence has a dirty sense of humor. Ivan says he'll make a body for her. There is a frozen project that no one will remember shortly. After the reunion party, he'll have to return the body to the lab. She continues joking using quotes from the internet. That's how Ivan learns that she is connected to the network and constantly studying. The guard at the checkpoint wants to know what's in his bag. Ivan says it's a sex doll head. It doesn't work well and needs fixing. The guard is happy to let the engineer pass through the checkpoint. At home, Ivan shows the robot the body that he managed to get. Having fixed the head to its place, the guy asks to move a hand and do something. The robot begins to crush everything around and throw knives. Ivan is trying to figure out why she decided to do this. He finds the marking Oprichnik 112 battle machine on her body. He is in a panic. It turns out that he's stolen a military version of the body so he can be accused of treason. Ivan brings the rest of the artificial skin for the robot. The robot notices that it looks like he created her to satisfy his sexual fantasies. The storyline returns to the present time. Ivan and Lena hurry out of the party. Meanwhile, the beaten guys are sitting in perplexity. As they stop to take a rest, a policeman approaches them and asks to see their documents. Yes, my friends, this is Russia. Here the police can perform an identity check on the street for no reason. The police officer asks for Lena's ID documents. Ivan says that his wife carried no identifications. The policeman thinks she's a prostitute and is trying to take her to the station. The robot instantly knocks out the officer. Then Lena neutralizes the second officer too as he's reaching for a gun. Ivan screams, what have you done? Lena says all cops are bastards. That's what they say on the internet. Ivan brings her home. He puts on his pajamas and asks her to lie down next to him. The robot politely refuses him. Then he asks her to clean the apartment while he sleeps. Ivan cannot sleep with excitement. Lena offers to help him. Ivan gladly agrees, hoping for something pleasant to happen, but the robot just chokes him until he loses consciousness. When he wakes up, he sees that the room is clean and tidy. They're heading to the lab to bring the robot back before anyone noticed the loss, but on the doorstep, they bump into Ivan's parents. They ask him to introduce them to a girl. Lena intercepts the initiative and tells them the legend Ivan has created for his classmates. She introduces herself as Ivan's wife. Parents are thrilled that their son has finally found a wife and insists that they have to celebrate this at a restaurant. Ivan's mother asks Lena why she doesn't eat. She answers that she doesn't have a stomach. Ivan is joking, trying to smooth over the robot's awkward answers. Ivan tells the robot that he needs to go to work and delete evidence pointing to him just in case they run a security check. He asks Lena to spend some time with his parents. When he arrives at work, the guard tells Ivan that the office is being searched. 
An FSB officer named Nesterov tells the guy that a prototype combat android has been stolen. They suspect it was a foreign intelligence service. The agent requests to provide access to the database. Ivan distracts the FSB officers and quickly deletes the data on the robot's appearance. Nesterov begins to suspect something is wrong. He gives Ivan an electronic security key and asks him to connect it to the database. This way, they activate a tracker built into the android. Once they know the location, the agents go after her. Ivan calls Lena and warns her about the agents. They meet in an underground parking of a shopping mall so that the FSB agents could not spot the signal. Ivan finds the hidden tracker. They go upstairs to buy some tools to remove it, but there is no money on Ivan's card. Lena asks the seller to exchange the tools for something else. She offers to show the puss. Seller agrees. Then Lena imitates a cat. That's not what the seller expected, so he does not want to give away the tool. Then the android knocks him out. While they are removing a tracker, in the restroom, a woman brings a security guard and complains about the noise in the cabin. The guard believes that this is their dirty little secret and does not want to interfere. But when they are finished, the guard shows respect to Ivan and asks to teach him how to pick up such hotties. Coming out of the restroom, the couple bumps into the FSB agents. They detain Ivan and want to get him in the car. At this time, Lena's bashing all the agents, so they have to cut and run. Lena has some time to stop by the sports department to change for convenient running clothes. A police car blocks the exit of the underground parking on their way out. Lena wants to go and sort things out with them, but Ivan says she can't kill people. The android asks why. He tells her to watch Terminator 2. The android quickly downloads the movie and skips through it. Then she puts on her sunglasses, gets out of the car, shoots the cops in their legs, and sits back in the car saying, they'll live. The couple is driving away. On their way, Ivan tries to communicate with the android Android as if she's a real person. It seems he has warm feelings for her, but Lena keeps acting like a soulless machine. When they stop for a snack, Ivan feels uncomfortable that the android just looks at him like a statue, waiting until he's done eating. He asks her to be more human so as not to attract attention. Then the android turns on the mimicry protocol and starts to behave like a gopnik. Lena says there's no data about their corporation on the web. Apparently, someone is trying to hide this information. They plan to visit the head of the R&D department to see what's going on, but they need to find some money to get a new car and clothes. Lena contacts an organizer of illegal MMA fights via the internet and signs up for a tournament. She is promised to get a good fee because she agreed to fight the unbeatable champion in a super heavyweight. Lena wins the fight in a few seconds. The organizer gives the fee and tries to find out her secret. Lena responds by asking him to get a car and new documents for them and gives the fee back in return. The couple visits the chief engineer at his place. He tells them that a spy has wound up in their organization, and all the special services of the world are after this android. Apparently, the spy wanted to steal the android, but Ivan has beaten him to it. No one expected the android to be so efficient. Lena reports that originally there was a raw version of the system, but Ivan has been working on it for a year and brought it to perfection. The boss says that tomorrow he'll try to make a deal and drop the case. On their way to a place where they can stay overnight, they're being pursued by the police. The android takes control of the car. They evade the pursuers but stumble upon a roadblock. Lena gets out to solve this problem, but the FSB agents suddenly appear with magnetic guns and immobilize the android. Our heroes are transported in a van. The android is immobilized by a special electromagnetic mesh. Agents bring them to an abandoned warehouse. While law enforcement officers prepare a transportation box, Lena Lena and Ivan have a conversation and learn that they care about each other, and there is a sort of attraction between them. Nesterov kills his colleagues. He tells Ivan to get out of the van, gives him AK-47, and admits that he is going to kill him and pin all the victims among the employees on him. As it turns out, Nesterov is the spy who planned to steal the android. One of the employees is alive. He opened fire on the perpetrator, thus helping Ivan to escape. Nesterov is taking the android away. Shortly before an explosion, Ivan grabs a gun and handcuff key from one of the corpses. Sitting in a roadside cafe, Ivan contacts Lena via the web chat and finds out their destination point. She will be taken to an airfield and then transported to America from that place. She asks him not to go there alone and call the cops. But Ivan Ivan says that by the time they figure out who's to blame, she'll already be taken abroad. He goes to the airfield on his own. Meanwhile, Nesterov hands over the android to the customers. Ivan rushes to the place with a gun. Nesterov understands that Ivan won't be able to shoot a person and does not take him seriously. Then Ivan shoots at the power supply of the magnetic mesh and releases Lena. The android knocks out all the opponents, and on Ivan's orders, she cuts down the customer. After the fight, Ivan passionately kisses Lena, but this is a passion without response. 
The android says he's definitely fallen in love with her. The boss thanks Ivan for exposing the dark deeds of Nesterov. Ivan, in turn, asks for only one thing, grant him an opportunity to continue working on the Lena project. The boss promises to consider his proposal. I hope you enjoyed the recap and will give me a like. Write down in the comments what movies you'd like to see on the channel and click on these pictures to watch other recaps, and I'll see you soon.